Hi, I'm Michelle Mikusevich with Swabits, and I'm here today at the Daisy Airgun International BB Gun and Air Rifle Championships with one of its premier coaches who's been successful for a number of years, and that's Mike Yoakum. And Mike has taken some time out of his schedule today to show us how he's been able to uh, make his teams have a, an even greater advantage in the BB Gun realm by using our products to, to clean them. Um, but Mike has been a competitive coach now since 96. 96, 1996. Yep. He's a level three coach with USA Shooting, and he's the state director for the Civilian Marksmanship Program. And how many kids have you run through this program? I know you, your own children, well, but then other kids too. Way back, I were probably up to, I don't know, 70, 80, 100. You, know, you lose track over time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? okay. And, and one of the things that's made them really successful, aside from being able to coach them in position and being able to get them to be prepared mentally as an athlete, has been the maintenance on the gun. So you've kind of learned that as you've gone. As we go, yeah. Nobody really sits down and teaches you any of this Yeah, stuff. so that's we why you guys it. have an advantage now. We've got the expert. So with the BB gun, you know, I thought it was really fantastic to find out that you're able to use our 12-gauge to clean the BB gun. So explain to us, how do you use a 12-gauge on a BB gun? Well, inside your BB gun, your your uh, powers develop a, a big spring in here, and they have a uh, just a Teflon cup on it, okay? And it's approximately three quarters of an inch diameter, approximately. But with, with a dirty shot tube or a plunger assembly in here and, and cup, you don't get the constant velocities. You're going to have up and down maybe five, ten feet per second. Mm -hmm. And with a 200 feet per second gun, you know, five Ouch. feet per second is a, a lot. Okay. And plus, sometimes in the abutment plug the uh, magnet will come loose mm -hmm. and it will drop down in here and it starts scratching and uh, causing uh, some serious problems in here. But really just for common maintenance, I like taking the plunger assembly out and then putting one of your, your 12 gauges on here and soak it in some type of a cleaner, hoppies, whatever you got. And then we run it up here and we bring it all the way up to the top and we can just run it back and forth, back and forth, and I'm sure this one's going to come out dirty right now. Yeah. I call it the Texaco Green Grease that Daisy uses, but okay. I think they're using synthetic now. But this is an older, older rifle. But anyway, get it there, clean it all out, and what's nice about it, once you get it kind of dirty, then you can clean it up, and I know there's probably several different products, you know, you just talked about mineral spirits, well, I've got carb cleaner, and I've got brick, you know, cleaner stuff, but anyway, you can clean that back up again. Mm -hmm. And What's nice about it, if you have some rough spots in here, I'll take another one of these. I've got like six of them in sacks downstairs, but you can put some uh, uh, polishing compound on them. And then you check this up in a drill, you get in there, and you can work this back and forth with your drill and just polish it, just polish it. And your, actually your plunger cup will last longer that way also. Okay. okay? And uh, anyway, then you pull this one off, and you put it down and you grab another one that's got some grease on it. And you put it in there and you rub it back and forth again and get some grease in there. Not much, you don't want much on people okay. get. Okay? So that's what I use these for. And uh, like I say I got four or five of them in, in plastic sacks and they're all labeled what's on it and uh, works out slick. The trigger assembly here, this is of course the paws missing and the triggers missing and springs, but you've got a, a mechanism here that to releases, where are we at here? That will release the main spring, and so you got friction points in there. Mm -hmm. So you can use the little Q-tip things, or you can use the paddle ones there, and uh, get some grease right down in there. Actually, you can do the same thing, put some polishing compound in there also, and slicker all up with some polishing compound, save your emery paper and stuff. So these little ones down here are really great for getting in there tight little pieces. I don't have a plunger assembly with me, but the spring, the idea of the spring is about 3 eighths of an inch. Mm -hmm. And it's good if you lubricate the inside of the spring as well. So your 45s or probably 357s, whatever, you can get inside there and clean up that spring, which is about that long, which this worked great for that. Get in there and just clean it all out. And then again, change this out, put one on, it's got a little grease on it, grease her up in there. So the products I like, because the simple fact, like the shot tube, which I don't have one, mm -hmm. I've punched a lot of Q-tips down them shot tubes, and they leave fibers, depends on the grade of Q-tip you're getting, mm -hmm. but uh, the cheap ones I buy, they leave fibers all up and down that darn devil. 
Whereas if this one here, if you'd make this about this much longer, it would slide in and out of that nine inch shot tube. Perfect. I'll see what we can do. And then you <laughs> can put some polishing compound on here and polish the inside with it also. Okay. And they hold together much better than Q-tips. Well, I know that. <laughs> so. All right. Well, so all the secrets. Now we just got to get uh, people getting their kids up to speed as much as uh, you can get your guns and your kids up to it's speed. A it's a combination. It is. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> right, I appreciate Michelle, it. Thank you.